oftentimes the little choices in life to make the biggest difference for you because they compound over time. And let me explain. So it's Friday. It's around 7.30 a.m. I was up at 5 a.m. this morning. My fiance, she actually has to leave for work pretty early. So I got up in the morning. Um, I'll help her get her stuff together, cook her some breakfast and whatnot, take the trash out. Um, and, you know, I really didn't have anything to do today until about 9. So, um, you know, when she left around, I don't know, 5.50, 6 o'clock, I really thought to myself, I was like, dang, I got like an hour and a half. I can go lay back up in bed. I'll still be able to hit the gym, do what I have to do today. And so that's what I did. I, I walked upstairs, right? I walked upstairs. I, I got in bed. I had my, my dog with me, Cassidy. Um, she's the cutest fucking thing in the world. Um, and I, I laid down in bed. It was like 6.05. And, you know, she, you know, Cassidy, she crawls right up on my chest, both paws on my shoulders, lays her head right down here. And I could literally start to hear her breath calm as she was falling asleep. And I was just like, dang, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable right now. Like in, in all reality, I just got one of the fattest checks I've ever gotten from my online business. I'm, you know, laying in bed with my dog asleep on my shoulder, got an hour and a half that I can just go get some, some sleep. But my mind started to race a little bit and I really started to realize like, yeah, what the hell are you doing? Seriously, I mean, like, you know, I I'm comfortable, but there's more. There's more that I could do. I could be up at the gym right now instead of an hour and a half from now, right? Um, I could then use that hour and a half that I would have been sleeping, knock out the gym and work on my business, work on my goals, right? What, because I'm comfortable, I just, I, I stop, I take a break. Like, it's, you know, um, it's discipline. You know what I mean? I've got, I've got my eyes on the prize. Like it would have been super fucking easy for me to just lay in bed, comfortable, comfortable, warm dog next to me, hour and a half extra asleep before the weekend. Um, but I got my ass up. I went to the gym, heavy leg day, did legs. I'm about to take my dog for a walk. Now we're going to go probably mile and a half, two miles. And by, you know, the 15, I've knocked out, you know, two hours of productive things as opposed to just fucking wasting it away sleeping. Um, and it's not what I wanted to do at the moment, but it's ultimately what's needed to be done. And I've made those decisions, those type of decisions every single day for the last three years. And the result of that is that I do work when I want and where I want. I'm in control of my life and I have the option of, you know, uh, laying in bed for an extra hour and a half in the morning because I don't have to go to work. But guess what? I still don't fucking do it. Look, life's about small decisions. That's an example of one. What are you doing today?